I got some ocean front property in Arizona From my front porch you can see the sea I got some ocean front property in Arizona Well hello Flat Piper, welcome to Arizona. I'm glad you could come visit me. We're going to have so much fun while you're here. Arizona is a very beautiful state with lots of things to see and do. Before I tell you about the things we're going to do while you're here, let me tell you some interesting facts about Arizona. There are 6,338,755 people in Arizona. Missouri, which is the state you live in, only has 5 million 878,415 people. That's a lot of people. Arizona State Flower is the Cigarro Blossom. That's the flower that is on the Cigarro Cactus that blooms in the spring. It's very, very pretty. Arizona State Mammal is the Ringtail. They get to be about two and a half feet long. They are very cute and shy creatures, and they're also nocturnal, so they are not seen that often because they sleep during the day. Arizona State Reptile is the ridge-nosed rattlesnake. They grow to between one to two feet in length. They, have, they are found at higher elevations and usually in wooded areas. They like to be alone and try to leave humans alone. Arizona State Amphibian is the Arizona Tree Frog. It's a very small frog that can grow up to two and a half inches in length. They eat beetles, spiders, earthworms, and flies. Arizona State Bird is the Cactus Wren. It measures between seven and nine inches long. They like to build their nests in the big cactuses out in the desert. Arizona State Butterfly is the Two-Tailed Swallowtail. It can grow to be a little over five inches wide. It's very pretty. I'm going to also tell you about some of the other popular animals here in Arizona that I've seen. Living near the desert, I've seen several tarantulas. Tarantulas can grow to be four inches long. They live in the desert soil in holes under the ground. They eat insects, lizards, and other small animals. A lot of people are scared of tarantulas because they're so big and hairy, but they are very docile creatures. As long as they don't feel threatened, they won't hurt you. Scorpions also live in the desert. They come in many shapes and sizes, but the most common one found in this area are the bark scorpions. They only get to be about two to three inches long. It usually eats crickets and roaches. They usually hide during the heat of the day under rocks, wood piles, and tree bark. They have a very sharp sting that will usually send you to the emergency room. So you have to be careful to stay away from the scorpions. Roadrunners also live here in Arizona. Yes, that's right, roadrunners. But they don't look anything like the cartoon roadrunner. They only get to be about 10 to 12 inches tall. They like to eat snakes and lizards. They can run up to 17 miles per hour. That's really fast for a bird. You can see them darting across the road very fast. That's why they're called road runners. The weather here in Arizona gets very hot in the summertime. In some places, it could get to be up to 116 degrees. There's not a lot of moisture in the air, so it doesn't seem quite as hot as it sounds. It's called a dry heat. Okay, now that you know a little bit about the state of Arizona, why don't we start our journey? I live in a town called Prescott. Out of my windows, I can see mountains all around me. It's very pretty. Have you ever seen a mountain? They come in all shapes and sizes. Here's a little bit closer look at the mountains and lakes that I see outside of my window. Pretty, huh? I'm going to take you up over another mountain on the other side We'll stop at a small town called Jerome. It's a very old mining town that is built into the side of a mountain. 
This town has actually had to be rebuilt four times due to fires. This town doesn't have a Walmart or a McDonald's, not even a gas station. The people that live here have to drive to the next town to get a Happy Meal. Okay, our next stop is Camp Verde. It's a very small town about the size of Pacific. The town is in a valley surrounded by large mountains. In one of those mountains, you'll find our next destination, Montezuma Castle. This is actually where the Sinagua Indians lived over 600 years ago. They built these cliff dwellings in the side of the mountain. It's over five stories tall and it has 20 rooms. It can hold up to 50 Indians. They were protected by the weather and could hide well from enemies and animals here. Down the road from Camp Verde, there's a lot of desert land. The desert here doesn't look like the desert you've seen on TV. This is called High Desert. You'll find a lot of c different kinds of cactus, tarantula, scorpions, rattlesnakes, and roadrunners here. Here's a picture of what High Desert looks like you can see where it's raining off into the distance. We'll go to the next major town over called Sedona. This is my favorite place in Arizona. I love it here. Sedona is known for the red rocks. All of the red parts of the rocks were actually under the ocean 320 million years ago. That's even before your grandparents were born. One of the places I'm going to take you is Bell Rock. It's a very va famous spot in Sedona, and many people come to see it every single day. See how red the rocks and mountains are? That was all under the ocean. Can you believe that? I love coming to, to Sedona and taking lots of pictures. Isn't it beautiful? Okay, let's go. There's still lots to see. Let's go up north to the Grand Canyon. This is a national monument and people come from all over the world to see it. It's actually considered to be one of the seven natural wonders of the world. The Grand Canyon was made by the Colorado River millions of years ago. The Grand Canyon is so big, when you're standing at the top of it, it doesn't even look real. It is about 227 miles long. About two years ago, they built a glass bridge that extends out over the Grand Canyon. You can walk on the glass bridge to get a better idea of how big the Grand Canyon is. You have to wear booties on your feet so you don't scratch the glass. That's a long ways down. Well, Flat Piper, we've done a lot while you've been here, and there's still so much more here to see in Arizona. So you'll have to come back for another visit when you have more time to stay. I've had a lot of fun while you were here, and I hope you have had fun too. It's very good seeing you, and I hope your class and your teacher enjoy the trip also. So long from sunny Arizona. I got some ocean property in